Hello everyone, welcome back. In the previous video, we successfully learned that uh, uh, how we can deploy our GitHub Actions uh, GitHub code to the server using GitHub Actions, right? And uh, we hard coded our edit our files uh, on this GitHub repo and we deployed this on the server. So now the time is to push our files through the command line and uh, deploy them on the server, right? So let's uh, go to your directory. And here I'm going to create a new directory for GitHub GitHub Actions Actions and here in the GitHub Actions I want to create a new index file right index.html and then I need to specify this uh, and I need to also download this YAML file, right? We need this YAML file also. So let's go to this uh, code. And here in the um, code, let's uh, go to this uh, workflow and uh, uh, copy this YAML code, right? But before this, you need to uh, copy this dot uh, GitHub and then you need to specify like this, right? So just go here, create a folder of GitHub. And in the GitHub, you need to create the workflow directory okay and then workflow and in the workflow you need to create this so uh, jml file right you can also pull this out but i'm not doing this uh, because i want to show you that uh, how you can uh, how you can do this uh, with your own one right so how you can create your own files like this you just click on this uh, jml file and uh, then you need to paste your all of the code into this yaml file so let's copy this one and here i'm going to open this through the i can open this through the notepad or i'm going to open this through the sublime right so open it out here and paste your code all of the code here so i pasted this code and you don't need to make any changes and here now i did uh, uh, changes on this file and uh, let's go back and in the index file i want to specify something right so just go here let me go to this index.html file and i want to add something here right to uh, want to type uh, let me save this file html okay so diet niazi is using github actions so here you need to specify that uh, uh i am uploading this through through command line right save this one and uh, now let's go here and you can run your uh run your command line windows command line or whatever operating system you have or you can run this through the git bash right so i already installed this git bash and if you don't know what is git bash so just go here and type uh, git bash basically it's a tool for uh for uh to uh, apply uh, basically it's a command line tool right so here I want I open this in this GitHub Actions directory and here first I need to create the uh, free first I need to create the repo right empty repo here right get in it it's a local repo so just click on this uh, get in it and yes it's initialized an empty repository and I'm going to uh, add uh, this uh, these files into this. Uh, uh, into this local repository and then I will post this to the server right just type git to uh, add and then space dot and uh, yes it's did uh, nothing and uh, make sure that we are logging through this master right and uh, you can also change your own one but I don't want to change this out I will uh, add this in the changes in the YAML file and I also want to show you the error if your uh, YAML file is uh, uh, different uh, domains so it will throw an error and not to uh, push your code on the server so here just comment this out git to uh, commit and then you need to add a comment to uh, comment to uh, from command line hit enter get comment authority please tell me who you are hmm. that's so uh, weird stuff 
and get up global user email and I'm um, not logging through this one so let me log in into this command line and then I'm going to come back here okay so in uh, previous it's uh, asking me that please log in so I have now logged in and then I uh, again enter this command commit from command line and it's uh, uh, made changes right and here now the time is to add the had the remote URL right so let's go to your uh, repository and copy the remote URL right so let's go here click on this uh, code and here just you need to press this code and copy this uh, out right so just click on this and it will be copied right and uh, make sure to click on this uh, no not SSH yes you're right you need to copy this here and uh, just go back to your command line and here you need to type uh, type get remote and then add origin and here you need to specify your origin right so i'm pasting my origin here and hit enter and yes now your origin is added and now you need to push your code on the github so get push origin master origin master right and uh, it will uh, push this code and yes it's uh, asking me to sign in to the browser so let me uh, sign in and uh, yes it's uh, asking me to sign in so let's take eye on this and yes it's uh, did this and yes now it's so uh, submitted this code on the github right and uh, if I go here to get up my repository, so it says that master had recent uh, uh, pushes less than a minute ago, right? And now if I go here and uh, give it a refresh, and yes, now I've refreshed, and here I have two branches, the main and master, right? And if I go here and give it a refresh and check that we have now uh, not the code which we added in this index dot to HTML file right so now we need to uh, change our we need to change our uh, domain name right so let's go back and here just to open the YAML file so just open this uh, YAML file let me uh, open this out here and here you need to change this uh, from main to master branch right type master save this one and uh, just go to your terminal and here you need to uh, add your all of the stuff again right and then you need to comment it uh, again i'm adding this updated and then you need to uh, our origin is already set so here i'm typing this git push origin master okay so i push this code and uh, here now let's go back and uh, check this out refresh this out and it's still same right so just go to this uh, github actions click on this actions tab and here it's committing from command line updated and it's executing this and yes it's executed successfully so now let's go here and give it a refresh and yes now displaying that i'm uploading this uh, through command line so in this way you can uh, deploy your code from any of your application code on the server using github action so hope you will love this tutorial because i simplified it to uh, within two or three videos where you can deploy your code using github actions and uh, none of the tutorials uh, teaching you that how you can do this and i uh, i'm very sure that this will change your life right and uh, in the next video i'm going to cover some a few other things so stay tuned for this series and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and share the videos with your friends and by the way i'm uh, shooting different course on the laravel build blog system reward system and deploy laravel apps on the server how you can deploy your apps on the server how uh, what are the laravel design patterns how you can scale your larger project how you can structure your larger project and much more things so don't forget to check out these series and uh, if you like these videos uh, you also want to learn about the laravel subscribe this youtube channel and stay tuned bye bye